Wave Life Sciences have recently released some promising new clinical trial results. We have previously talked about the efforts of Wave Life Sciences. Let's look at some of the key findings. In Huntington's disease, HD, the expanded copy of the Huntington, HTT gene, makes an extra long HTT protein, which is thought to be harmful to brain cells. Some pharmaceutical companies are studying Huntington protein lowering approaches in clinical trials. Wave Life Sciences is conducting the SELECT HD clinical trial, testing a drug called WVE-003. WVE-003 is designed to only lower the expanded and harmful form of the HTT protein, with the hope that this might be safer than targeting all HTT protein. WVE-003 is an antisense oligonucleotide, ASO therapy, which binds to specific single letter changes in the genetic code, which are only found in the expanded HTT gene. This means every participant must take a genetic test to check if they have the specific letter changes targeted by the drug. This also means not everyone who has HD can receive the drug. The SELECT HD study tested either a single dose of WVE-003 or multiple doses at eight-week intervals, given via spinal tap. For comparison, placebo groups received spinal taps but weren't given the drug. Similar side effects were seen between the single dose and placebo groups, suggesting this dose is safe and well tolerated. Some mild and moderate side effects were seen in those who received multiple doses. The levels of neurofilament light NFL protein, a measure of brain health, tend to rise over time in people with HD. Similar changes in NFL levels were seen between most people treated with WVE003 and those who received the placebo. In both the single and multi-dose groups, levels of expanded HTT protein were reduced compared to the placebo groups. Meanwhile, levels of the regular HTT protein were largely unaffected. This indicates the drug is working as intended. These findings are so far encouraging. The drug appears largely safe and is the first drug shown to effectively lower only expanded harmful HTT protein. The next step is to test WVE-003 in a much larger trial to find out whether it improves the signs and symptoms of HD.